welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look right here. If you're going to prom, this would be like the perfect look to go for. I gave you guys a nude glossy lip option and this option right here. So if you guys are interested in how I got this makeup look, please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done and I'm using a different concealer today. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep and I'm using this on my brows today just to see how I like it and I didn't really like the color because it was like a little too light. You guys will see my reaction, but it's a little too light for me to use up under my brow. So I probably just have to go up a shade so I don't have to mix the concealers. But all in all, I really like this concealer. The finish of this concealer is bomb. It dries to a matte finish, but it looks so smooth on the skin and it's lightweight. Now I'm going to blend that concealer out with my Real Technique Deluxe Concealer Brush. And then I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut to prime my lids. And I'm taking that same Real Technique Deluxe Concealer Brush to blend this concealer out. And then I'm going to set it into place with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm using my Real Technique Contouring Brush to set everything into place. To start off this eye look, I'm taking Brown Script from MAC and I'm using my E27 brush and I'm taking it on the outer corner of my eye and blending it inward. Now I'm taking Brown Down from MAC and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to take this color on the outer corner of my eye and blend it halfway inward I guess you can say because this is the color that's going to start to deepen my crease okay so I do not know where the other half of this clip went but I'm using cloud nine from Colourpop to darken up the outer corner of my eye and I'm blending it inward and the brush that I am using is the Morphe 514 brush and then I switch back to my Morphe E27 brush to make sure everything is blending out nicely and now I'm applying Corrupt from Makeup Geek, which is a matte black eyeshadow. And I'm using my Morphe M506 brush. Okay, for my mobile eyelid today, I'm using a dazzled eyeshadow. So I'm taking my mixing medium and I'm mixing it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut to make more of a skin tone color. And I'm going to cut my crease with that. Okay, so the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using on my mobile eyelid is She Sparkles from MAC, which is a dazzled eyeshadow. This is a silvery eyeshadow and it has flexes of purple glitter in it. It's a beautiful eyeshadow and I love the finish of it. So yeah, I'm using that. The brush that I used to apply that was a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and now I'm using a Morphe brush, the Morphe E19 brush, and I'm using this to carve out the inner half of my eye. And then I'm switching back to my Morphe 514 brush and I'm making sure the silver color is blending into the black seamlessly. And I skipped over my eyeliner and now I'm just going to apply some falsies. And I'm wearing the Dodo Lashes. I don't remember the style number so look in the description box for that. Okay so this is how my eyes are looking and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the face and then come back to the eyes. To prime my face I'm using the NYX Photo Loving Primer and this is going to give my foundation a smooth base to lay on. The foundation that I'm going to be using is the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC50 and to apply this and blend it out I'm using my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. To highlight, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer, which is like one shade lighter than my skin tone. And I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep, which is a little bit too light for me. So I mix them together and that is what I'm going to use to highlight my face. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend everything out.
to set all my highlighter areas into place i'm taking my sasha buttercup setting powder on my beauty blender and i'm just going to dab this into the skin until it disappears and i'm taking it around my mouth area because that area likes to crease so to prevent that i set it into place as well and then to set the rest of my face i'm using the studio fix powder in the color nc47 to contour my face, I'm using the Black Radiance Palette in the color Medium to Deep. And then to clean up my contour, I'm taking this Camel Color in the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. Moving back to my eyes, I'm going to take the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and line my waterline with that. And I'm using a Real Techniques Slanted Arch Definer Brush. And I like this brush because it has a sponge applicator, so it makes it easy to apply the gel liner to my waterline without poking myself. And I'm laying down some more of the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder just in case I make a mistake and I can easily wipe it away. So I'm just laying that down. And I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line with brown script from MAC and brown down. Now I'm just going to wipe away that excess powder and apply some mascara. Um, the mascara that I'm using is the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm applying the mascara with a fan brush from Morphe. The fan brush actually allowed me to define all the hairs on my lash line without getting the mascara on my face because a lot of the times when I use a mascara wand for my bottom lash lines, the mascara wand is either too big or I end up getting mascara on my face and that is so annoying when you're almost done with your makeup. So this little fan brush technique really worked out in my favor. For blush, I'm using the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. And then to add some glow to my face, I'm using the Matte Shimmer Bronzer from Pure. For my lips, I decided to do two colors. The first color is Delight from MAC and is a cream sheen. I really love this gloss. It's a light pink gloss, but it's really pretty on every skin tone. So that's the first option. And then for my second lip option, I wanted to do something deep and red. So I decided to line my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Night Moth. And for my lip color, I'm taking Tootsie from Colored Rain, and this is going to go all over. And then I'm going to take Cherry Blossom from Colored Rain as well and put this in the center of my lip. And that's going to create the red effect that you guys see. Alright you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you do end up wearing this to prom, I really hope you have fun. And wherever you wear this to, if you're not going to prom, I hope you have fun as well. And if you're just watching this, just to be watching this, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next upload. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Okay.